hello. <laughs> Can you guess what we're doing in today's video? No. I sound like I'm like doing Blue's Clues. Um, what is it? We're looking for Blue's Clues. We are looking for Blue. Anyways, uh, hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited for this video. If you did not know, it is October. Hopefully I'm getting this up before Halloween. I wanted to come on here and do a little trial run for my Halloween costume this year. Let me just tell you, every single year, I literally, I plan what I'm gonna do in my head. I buy everything, I get the costume and I either don't have time to do my own makeup because I'm doing everyone else's, uh, the costume doesn't fit right. And I've never, except for when I was younger, when I was being like SpongeBob for Halloween, I've never had like a super cool dope Halloween costume where people can like come up to me and just be like, damn, that's dope. This year I am going to be- Can you guess? Okay. Any guesses? Anything? This is my costume, or this is the top to my costume. Bottom is gonna be like a skirt, any guesses? Anything, anything, anything? I'm going to be Peach from Mario, and I'm gonna be a dead version of Peach, or a zombie, a zombie Peach. When I was younger, me and my sisters, I have three older sisters and a brother, and we would all play Mario games, whether it was Mario Party, Super Mario Brothers, Mario Kart, all the, all the Mario games, I was always Peach, and I love her, and she's my queen. And she's just a little dainty girl. So we're gonna make her creepy today. I already have my base down, if you can't tell. I really wanna focus on the special effects today and making those really good. And I know that's gonna take a damn long time for me to do. So I wanted to focus on those. And for the base, all I really did was did like a lighter foundation, even though this kind of matches me, which is really sad because my winter color is coming back. And it's not a cute time for me. We know that. Um, but yes. So yeah. for my base, I just did that lighter foundation, sealer, powder. I didn't do a lot of contour. Ooh, look at that cheek, bitch. Ooh. Tiny bit of contour, blush, and then highlighter. And that's all I've done so far. I maybe possibly went to Desio, not went to, ordered from Desio contacts. And I maybe possibly got blue contact lenses for this. Eek. If I can open it, that would be fantastic. Also, it's snowing outside. I got two different kind of blues because I didn't know which one I wanted. This one is actually called Innocent White, which is what I might use because I want her to be like a zombie. So I want her eyes to be even lighter than they would normally be. And I feel like white is gonna do that. This is what they come in. So maybe I can like pour the solution into this thing. And here we go. Holy shit, that never happens on the first try. Oh, I look creepy already. Fun. Fun. If you guys saw my Torres video, you saw me struggle to do that for like- So long. I didn't get the other one on camera, but holy shit. That was so fast, bro. That never happens for me. It never is that quick, ever. Ew, I look so weird. Shall we get going? Shall we? I am going to use this bad boy. Give me, give me a second. This bad boy right here. Do you guys know what this is? Do you know? This is the Nikki Tutorials palette. Uh, I actually filmed a review on this, but I did not like it at all and I hated myself, but it was like a first impressions. So I didn't want to redo it because I already did my first impressions of the palette. Uh, so it would be like, oh my God, this just like untied. Did anyone else see that? Anyone else? Good thing I'm wearing a bra. I got this shirt from like Shein because I just looked up like princess shirt because she has those like poofy shoulders. And I was like, this is fucking perfect. I got all my shit from Shein and it was like less than $40. I was like, this is fantabulous news. I am going to start off with a very fitting shade. This one is called Zomer. It's right here and it is a beautiful, beautiful peach color. And then this is my Morphe M441 brush. I'm just gonna put that in the crease. We're gonna do a pretty basic eye just because in like any photos of Peach, like if you look up Princess Peach, it's literally just like, it just doesn't even look like she has makeup on. I'm trying to replicate that. Hopefully I don't fuck up the special effects because I haven't done special effects in a long time. And here's the real gag, guys. I was in cosmetology school in LA last year until 
COVID started. So like March, I think. My last class I had to take at my makeup school was special effects. And I was, that was the class I was the most excited for. I would love to work on movies and shit. That's kind of my goal. So I was like very excited for that and uh, it never happened. <laughs> would have been very helpful for me right now if I, if I got to take it before fucking COVID happened. But there was like an option to do it online and I just can't see myself doing well in that situation because special effects is hard even when you're seeing it right in front of you. Like they're teaching you in person. Doing it online, I just know myself. I am a visual learner. Like I have to see things in person up close for them to be like, for it to like actually process in my brain. So yes, yes, very nice. For the lid shade, I was thinking of just doing like a bright white because it's gonna make my eyes look bigger instead of doing like a shimmer. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take this, my highlighter here as a like base and then I'm gonna go on top of it with the Stila Magnificent Metal Glitter in Diamond Dust. Ugh, I love her. I'm just gonna add that on top after I add the base. Okay. I also have these little jewels. These are jewels by Bead and Landing. Yay. Yeah, yeah. So I might go in the inner corner with that. I'm just gonna take the Stila Diamond Dust. Oh, it's so fucking pretty, bro. Rub it on my eyes. Rub it all up on there with my fingy. Ugh. Like fucking die. They're the easiest fucking things, too, bro. Like, I literally could use these every single day. It takes like two seconds. They're so handy. Oh, so convenient. So much better than using a fucking glitter glue. I didn't even like fuck with glitter glues when I was younger. I, I just hated it so much. Oh, I love it already. So cute. What are you guys being for Halloween? I'm genuinely curious. This took me so long to come up with. I've been thinking about this for months, like literal months. And uh, just came to me. What are y'all being? Anything fun? Anything fresh? Anything to write home about? Coming up with Halloween costumes is maybe one of the hardest things to do. Solely because this is the one day of the fucking year that you get to be somebody other than yourself. I wish there were more Halloweens. I wish I could be someone else. Every single day. But you know, um, we only get one, unfortunately. So choose wisely and uh, don't make it offensive. It's really not that hard to make it not offensive. No cultural appropriation here, people. We don't fuck with it. No, we do not. Not at all, not a little bit, not even a lot. What just happened? My camera was like, no. My phone said low battery, too bad. Deal with it. Um, I tried to just get all the glitter off my hands, but as you can see, that didn't happen. My hands are so crusty right now, guys. The fucking weather, the weather. here is like 30 fucking degrees, which is fine. I fucking love winter. Winter and fall are my favorite seasons here in Minnesota, but, but they fucking dry me out like a fucking prune. Like I just, I don't know. It's not fun for me personally, but um, okay. Let's add a gem on the inner corner. A fun little gem, a little shake, shake, shake. The way I do this, great little fucking trick. From my friend Marcella that I went to beauty school with, I was doing like a makeup, like a gym. I'll put a photo right here. It was so fucking pretty on her bro, but she taught me to, this is the best way to put on any sort of gem or bead or stick anything small on your face. If I can open it, that would be fantastic. But I don't know if I can. Hmm. Day two. Really? It's just like not happening for me. Day three. Is there a special way to do this? Mmm. Why? Day four. Send hip. Okay, finally. I think they're all the same size. I would like to find smaller ones. The craft store. Okay. That's rough, buddy. I wanna die. <laughs> Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some eyelash glue. I'm just gonna use just the fucking wand. I don't really care. And I'm just gonna go right here. Boop, boop, boop. Just map out where you want them. And then you're gonna take a little bit of the eyelash glue and take any small makeup brush and put it on the bottom, just like a tiny bit and let it dry. Let it get real tacky because then you can just pick up the little gem and stick it on your eye with the little makeup brush, just like this. And then just, my hands are 
are shaking. Oop. Good. And make sure they are symmetrical or it's gonna look really fucking weird. So there's that. A little fun little diamond there. And then I'm just gonna take my Wet n Wild Skinny Tip Liner. Okay, yeah, so we're just gonna do a little flick. A little flick at a wrist. Nothing huge, because I don't want a huge wing at all. I want it to just flick. Just a widow guy. Those are the two little baby wings. I love baby wings. Baby wings are my favorite. They're my favorite kind of wings. Now I'm taking my Tattoo Studio Liner by, who is this? Maybelline, I think. Maybelline. And then we're going right on the waterline, all the way in. This will make your eyes super big. Oh, I already look so creepy. This is great. Ugh. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I got a new eyelash curler. Uh, more like I stole my mom's and gave her my old one. Because this one, I was using it in her bathroom. Literally insane. I think these are by House of Lashes, but I don't know because I may have thrown the box away. I cannot get this mascara in my contact because if it gets in the fucking contact, I'm gonna have an aneurysm. Like I'm gonna scream. It's the CoverGirl Total Tees. It's this one, the one with the little nubbin on the end. Mom, what are you doing? Oh. Mom, you're just making her cry. If you ever think I'm crazy, it's because I, I am. But um, I get it from her. Okay, I'm just gonna pop these eyelashes on and I'll be right back. These lashes are literally perfect. I've worn these before and I didn't like them. I remember not liking them, but I don't remember why. I think it's cause the band on these is like really sharp. You know when there's like sharp bands? I don't know, you only know this if you wear eyelashes, but like in the inner corner, it like pokes the fuck out of your eye or like, I don't know. It's like kind of doing that right now, but um, it's bearable. It's just not ideal. Press them with my real lashes. There we go. All right guys, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. We're about to start that special effects bullshit. Oh, I'm gonna add just a tiny more blush. I'm just using these two and like a little circular brush and uh, more on the apples of my cheeks instead of like everywhere, which is what I usually do. I usually go, but we're trying to keep it more centered. I'm just gonna take the same crease shade, that peachy pink shade and put it under my lash line real quick. Gonna go in with the telescopic mascara and just add that a little bit to my lower lashes. Not too much, not too much, not too little. Honestly, if you just wanna go for a cute look, this is perfect for Halloween. If you wanna be Peach or any kind of princess, um, this kind of layout, just the one crease color, glitter, diamond, and lashes, and a super like, elongated wing just on the end, that would be perfect for any Disney princess, really. Or not even Disney, just any fucking princess. Peach isn't even Disney. You just fucking Mario, bro. A banana. That's what I call a banana. Thank you. Okay, last but not least for the non-gory gross stuff, we're doing lips. And I'm just gonna use my little Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liner. This guy, uh, she has very pink lips and uh, pink looks really bad on me. So I'm going for like a darker pink, which is even better because she's supposed to be like scary as fuck. Queen of darkness. But her lips are like super big on the, t they're like, you know, cartoon lips. They usually look like lip injections. So that's what we're gonna go for. <laughs> Why is my lip quivering? It was like. Guys, why do I always film when I'm like gonna get my hair dyed? Cause I'm literally getting my hair dyed tonight. It's gonna be pink. <gasps> I just realized the pink is gonna go so good for this peach costume. Wow, wow, super excited about that one. It's called Matte Beauty and it is by Milani. I love Milani. 
you want to look like you got lip injections. So whatever you have to do to achieve that. Just make both of your lips super pouty. Guys, you could literally stop here and it'd be so cute. Oh my God. And of course, a princess would have gloss on. So I'm taking my Fenty Beauty, baby, and adding that on top. My lips are like, Jesus Christ. Oh, I love it, I love it. Now I want lip injections. Should I get lip injections? Comment below. Ugh, why get lip injections? Inductions. Why get lip injections when you can just fake it until you make it, you know? That's what I'm doing. Okay, again, you can totally stop here if you wanna just do like a pretty cute Halloween princess look, but I'm gonna make her look fucked up. So, super excited about that. I got this shit from Spirit Halloween. And I'm just gonna take this red. It's basically like fucking face paint. And I'm just gonna map out where I want it to look like the skin. is being lifted off my face. Um, so yeah, super fun. No need to be super precise. Just kind of make it really random. If this actually happened, it would be very random. Jagged, some jagged edges. Who just texted me? Is that my boss? It is. <gasps> I'm scared. Oh God, am I getting fired? What's happening? I'm gonna do a big chunk right here. Uh, this is just like the base. So this is just me mapping out what will be underneath the latex because it's easier to put it underneath the latex than on top of the latex, but you'll see. What time is it? Is it summertime? I'm gonna take my blood sugar palette because I know they have some deep ass red tones in heel and hit all. And I'm gonna take intra intravent in intravenous intravent intravenous intra intra help. What the fuck does that say? Am I stupid? Don't answer that, probably. Um, intranivus? Intravenous. 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 I love English. This is old as fuck, so I'm gonna take it cause it's almost dead, but this is the brush that comes in all the Anastasia Beverly Hills kits. You don't really have to set it, I just kinda want to cause I feel like it'll give it more- Depth? I don't know, more flavor, more depth of flavor. Okay, some shit like that. Let's take the latex. This is liquid latex from Spirit Halloween. I have a plate right here, by the way. Um, don't worry, I'm not just like dumping it on my table. Okay, tell me I'm fucking wrong. Don't even argue with me on this one. This smells like dirty. Did you get that? It literally smells like fish. It smells like a dead swamp with fish in it. I do not enjoy the smell of liquid latex. And if you do, you're a psychopath. Sorry to break it to you, but I'm not. This all thin. This all thin! Smell it, you wanna smell it? Yeah, it's pretty fucking gross. This stuff is like very liquidy, so got to be very careful, even though I'm literally the clumsiest person I know. Okay, we got two super gross, super old sponges that we're gonna use. Which one should I use? Green or orange? Let's go with green. Take a brush like this and just map out more precisely than the sponge would where I want the latex to be. So first you want it to be pretty thick because you're gonna like start tearing at it eventually because you want it to look like ripped skin. That's why we're putting it on. This ain't gonna be good for them. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at the crusty. Can you see it? It's already crusting. Mm, hopefully this doesn't break me out. It probably will. Just putting it on as thick as possible without it Completely dripping off. 
I love special effects so much. I can't wait for that class. I'm scared for it because I, I really don't know if I'm good at special effects. Like I know I can kind of make small things like this look real, but when it comes to prosthetics and all that, I'm very curious to see how I do with those. Because do you know how fucking cool it would be to work on a scary movie or something like that? And like create broken like fingers and broken arms and noses and all that shit. There's not as many special effects artists as there are beauty artists and I don't know. All I'm saying is I think I think it would be nice. So I'm gonna come back once it's all built up to where I can start like tearing it apart and shit. Uh, sorry, I got a little carried away. I just wanted to try making a little scratch. So I feel like it was missing something. And so that's what I did. That's what I started. I just put like a tiny layer of latex there trying to make it look like I got like fucking scratched, but you know, it's kind of hard. I think that the latex up here is almost dry. It's a little tacky, but we can start pulling at it. Yeah. So I'm just taking a tweezer for the first initial pulls, and then I'll probably take my hands. And it doesn't hurt at all, unless there's like hair there, which there's hair up here, some, but it's not that bad. And then just gonna go in the deep crevice. The deep crevice. just shading with the powder. Okay, I'm just gonna show you guys with this one. I'll do this one off camera, but that's what we have thus far. Now I'm gonna take some bloody scalp. Isn't that pleasant? This is called bloody scalp and it's from Spirit Halloween also. So this is like a very thick blood. It's It makes it, literally, it looks like a wet, thick, gross scab. Just makes it look way more realistic. It looks like the blood is like clotting. Uh, texture adds a ton in special effects. See how it's like, it looks like jello and it's not gonna like drip out or anything. I'm just gonna take that on the back of a makeup brush. I'm gonna put it mostly right where the skin is peeling. See how that literally already made it look more real? Yeah, this will really start to bring it to life. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of that other blood that I have. Before I do that, I'm gonna take uh, the end of this and make a scratch on my face look scabbed. That looks, that looks decent, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. How do I look, guys? Do I look good? Better than I've ever looked. I feel better than I've ever looked. Then I'm just gonna take some of that theatrical blood and add it up there. Is it gonna come out? That would be nice. I don't know. It might not. I have to pee really bad, but I'm like so into it. I don't want to move. Oh, we haven't even used the fucking sponge yet. Should I cut it? I'm gonna cut it. <gasps> Did you guys remember when that girl like cut open her sponge? Because she thought there was something in it and it turns out there's fucking bugs in it. Like there were bugs living in it. That's what happens when you don't clean your goddamn sponges. Stupid bitch. Got the blood. And then with the blood, just kind of put it where you think it would look best. Don't go overboard. I'm trying to get it to drip. All right, I'm not really telling you guys what's happening. I'm just kind of doing things. That's because I don't really know what I'm doing. Going along with it, bruv. That's all you really can do. I'm just gonna switch between the types of blood I'm using.
fuck around till I like it. Dope. I think that looks pretty real. I don't know about you guys. I'm okay with it though. I'm gonna finish this now. It literally looks like I just got eaten by a zombie. But here is this. Here's this. Um, I'm gonna put my hair down. <laughs> I need to wash all my brushes now. God damn it. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take my hair down and clean up and then I'll be back to do the outro. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I'm so in love with this fucking look and I am shocked. I think it looks so dope. I have never actually liked a Halloween look that I've done, like ever. So this is uh, very exciting. This is big news, people. Just know that I'll be popping off on Halloween by myself, uh, yeah. And I think the gloves and just the whole outfit, the whole attire, just really brings it together. And I feel like the pink hair will really bring it together. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have the most amazing, incredible. <laughs> I hope you have the most amazing, incredible, awesome, fun, drunk <laughs> Halloween ever. I hope you have the most fun. I hope you feel beautiful or scary or creepy or sexy or whatever the fuck you wanna be. Cause bitch, it's Halloween. Be whatever the fuck you want. Actually, I actually have to work on Halloween. Very upsetting. I'm, uh, and I will be showing up just like this. So no one else will be dressed up. I'll just be like, <laughs> thanks again for watching. Subscribe if you want to. Yes. Like the video if you like what I did. And uh, please send me photos if you're going to be peach for Halloween. That will make my entire life or anything. I would like to see what everyone's being for Halloween. So just send me photos of whatever you're being. Thanks again for watching. Thanks again for subscribing and liking and sharing this video because uh, I know you're doing that right now. I hope you guys have an amazing spooky season. As I said before, I will see you very soon. Hopefully, you never know.